I'm Smith Games. I hope you're all doing well. And today's video, we are going to do a review and discuss on Godzilla King of the Monsters. And let's get right into the video. So, Godzilla King of Monsters. This is the third installment of the Monsterverse movies. And and it's also a sequel to Godzilla 2014. And, uh, and let me tell you what I think about the film. I love this film, guys. I adore this film. I watched this film back in 2019. So that's two, three years ago. And in the... In the cinema, and and it was amazing. It, I find it more. I find it cooler than the twenty fourteen, and basically, um, the movie um, takes place after five years after the first movie, and. The characters are are still in there, but but you still got um, new characters in there as well. So the same characters are like Dr. Zawa, um, played by um, Ken Ken Watanabe. I think I think that's his name. And you got um. I think her name is um, Dr. Sylvain, Sally Hawkins' character, and you got, um, is there another character in there? Present? Oh yeah, you, you, you remember the incident that I talked about in Tron Skull Island? He came back for the, for this film as a cameo, and, but, there's, oh yeah, and there's um, the Admiral from the first movie as well. But, there are new characters in, in this film. Let me show you at the back of the DVD. Like, the character here. There's, um, there's, um, uh, Russell. There's Madison. There's, um, Emma. And also the bad guy, um... Um, Jonah, based on his name, and they are the new characters, and new characters that we introduced to in this movie because Aaron, Jen, Aaron Taylor Johnson character and the other characters who are in the first movie are not in this one. So, so let me tell you what I like. I like the um it's hard to explain what, what I like by it, ain't it guys? <laughs> so I like the um the characters. Well, you didn't know I'm looking at the DVD. Um I like um um him I like him in there where my thumb where my thumb is um pointing at. He's cool. Um, I love the part, the I love um, that Doctor Zawa came back for the for, for this one, and also um, the um, his um, partner, and they are and that is really really nice. They came back, and also Godzilla is is back. But he had a few changes because in the first movie he had like um pointed um like shark um fins and he's about three hundred fifty fifty five feet and also his tail and his feet are not are elongated his tail is elongated and his feet are like elephant's feet but in this one this designer Godzilla in there 
my favorite monster in the world. His design is heavily inspired by the 1954 movie. Well, design. Like the um the dorsal spikes, the feet, um they shorten the, the tail and the roar. Oh my god. They brought back the 1954 Godzilla and also the Showa Godzilla roar. And if you hear the roar, then you instantly instantly recognize the roar from the Toho movie. And also, this film has the original Godzilla theme. It goes da 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 da. That, that theme song, and and I recognize it because I'm a big um, Godzilla fan, and I watched all the Toho movies. I recognize it, and also it has new monsters in, in this. It has it got a uh, Mothra, who's a queen of monsters in this. It got Rodan, who's a fire demon, and also the big baddie. And that is King King Didora or King Didora, King Didora from Toho. And and that's very really nice to see. Seeing them came seeing them in the the American version of the Godzilla movie. And and do I got anything I don't like? Um not in my mind. Well, is there anything that I don't like? Uh, nah. There's nothing I like about this film. This film ain't perfect, but I actually really adore this film. I actually adore it. Like I said before, it's a really, really, really cool film. Cooler than the first movie. And now, let me explain about the story. The story is very simple. Like I said, uh, once again, it it take place takes place five years after the first movie, and this involves with the um, the family, the Russell family, who were um, in the event of the first movie, and because their son, Russells, and I think her name is Emma. Her son, who name is Andrew, he got accidentally got killed by Godzilla, and then and after that, in a few years time, in five years time, um, Godzilla was in um, hiding. Um, but Emma was involved with Monarch along with her husband, um, Ross, uh, Mark, who um, who built who designed a device a device called the Orca to communicate with the um with the Titans. Basically the basically the monsters here, the monsters are called Titans in this one. Not as not kaijus like like we call them, right? So they call Titans in this. Um so she um took Madison to all this temple. Basically, around the world, they got uh, monarch bunkers like containment around the world for each monster. But this one, this um first one we saw, got the is our first look on the on of Mothra. You don't know Martha is. She's the um a kaiju who who looks like a big moth, and she is beautiful in this. Um, she's heavily inspired um of the Toho version. She um she still got the roar. She got two forms in this. The first one we saw was the lava form. And she actually got hatched out out of the egg, and she actually got um 
basically ambushed by the the I think I think it's the soldiers, and they was trying to do trying to contain a uh, contain her, so they can use the Yorker on her basically. So she wasn't happy. Then she wasn't well. Basically, she, basically she doesn't like that. So she attacked them, and Emma just went out with the Yorker trying to communicate with her. So she put on the um Alpha, the sequence, and and she basically just stopped, and she came like a a good Titan. I'm not going to. I'm not doing a good um too many details. So after that, there was a um a press conference of the monsters, uh, with the uh, the judge and that, and they weren't happy. Well, one side wants to kill the monsters, one the other side wants to want to support them. So after that, they were showing a bit of footage of the monsters like Gazelle, Kong. And the other one, like Mutos, and then um, they, there was a scene with uh, Mark, who was in uh, basically in Canada. Um, he was um, studying some wolves of the pack, like how they um, interact each other, how they hunt. So, why do now? Monarch just came, and they actually uh, re recruited him back. Because his wife and daughter, yes, his daughter was there with with her, because they got kidnapped by Jonah, who's this bad guy, who wants to who wants to awake all the Titans, who believe the Titans are the first gods, and the ones who own the planet. So further off there, um, they brought um Mark. To the base where to Godzilla's territory, they talk about Godzilla or to talk about the Orca, talk about the hostage the situation between about Emma being being um being adopted with her daughter, and then um, Godzilla arrived, but it was on the water, and it was and this after give a jump scare, um he gives her a a, a pulse. Do you know like a, you know like a, a gorilla um, pulsing chest, pouncing chest, like bum 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 bum, pouncing chest? That's the same thing Dark Souls doing with his um, dorsal spikes. Because he's been intimidated by, intimidating by something. So, he just stopped intimidated. And then he just turned it back on and went whoosh, like... Like past the um the, the window and that was a big junker and then he swam away. Because he was heading towards Antarctica because because um John and his men who with um who with um Emma and Madison they all went to the Antarctic went there to try to wake um Monster Zero aka King Ghidorah. So as for there, the other team went. The other team arrived. Um, Emma actually revealed to be working with him, with, with the bad guys, and then she um, exploded the um, the ice. Well, the glacier where um, where the door was um, frozen. So he was falling awake. She uses. So she went back to the um what the word to the the is it the um, a beetle helicopter thing I don't know the military and um, vehicles um they went back on there she using using the uh, auto again but trying to make it go bad like well it's already bad but. It, Make him more medicine. So, so well, she did that, and he actually wrecked the 
rep the hell out of the uh, the the good guys, and then the good guys put in the the own helicopter, and the um the auto was shot off by um Madison. Well, she tried to, but John and he took her off, took her away from there, and she stood on it and she took her off. Then, then this is great. Godzilla arrived, and it was a, a dramatic entrance he did, and then him and the door had a, a massive fight, and that was awesome. Then after the fight, um. The heroes were back on the big helicopter, big plane thing called the what you call it, um, called the called the Argo, and they actually um, following Godzilla towards Mexico. Well, because while they do that, Emma had a video call with them, told about the um about why she believes the monsters are the first gods and all that kind of stuff and, and and the good guys was very happy they'll think she doing she she doing a bad I she they well basically guys she she they think that she was doing a bad thing but she believes that she was doing a, a, the right thing by Using the altar to awake all the monsters, and that's what that's what she did. That then, that she did. She did to Rodan. So she used it on Rodan. Rodan, as he woke up, he like went down towards because he was in the volcano. So he burst out the volcano, and he just flew. Flow flew towards the village, and he flew past the village and did this um super sonic thing, and all the houses were destroyed, the people were killed, and then um the army had no choice to 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 distract him away from the mainland. Towards um Monster Zero, so they um so he followed them towards Monster Zero, and he got there, and then they had a fight. Then um while well, do that, the army would bring this, these uh, civilians towards the Argo. The Argo um got the, the civilians, and then. Monster Zero at the knocked out um Rodan. Then he was, then Monster Zero went towards the Argo and Gazza arrived, grabbed him by his tail, from on the water, and they had an on the on the water fight. Then while they're fighting, the Admiral had no choice to launch the Artigen destroyer. If you don't know your oxygen joy guys, um if you've seen the original you know where that one you know where that's come from. Um the Austin Destroyer actually was created to to this to um take oxygen from the host on the water. So they use it on Godzilla and the door, but the door as it survived it, Godzilla didn't. Well, he was presumed dead. Then this, well, the door got two heads, but the third one got bitten, got bite off by Godzilla. But he, so, so, well, um, guys, I'm sorry for looking around. I was a bit nervous. Um, he just um. Flew towards volcano and he just summoned all the monsters to be awakened, like, like all of them, except Khan and Martha who don't care because their loyalty to Godzilla. So after that, Martha awakened, 
she was in a, a, a cartoon and she did a world turn and because she was communicating with Godzilla so she went toward Godzilla and well to the humans well you, yeah, the humans were talking about Ghidorah and Godzilla's um, history with one another and then the humans went back to the base, the animal was there, he wasn't happy. So he's so he went, look, the mon look the Titans are attacking the world and we don't know how to stop them. But Mark, the good guy, he told them, look, the Titans are like a pack and this Fedora is the Alpha. So, so they actually don't know how to stop him. But Joshua Zao believes Godzilla was the only one who could stop him. So anyway, uh, Mark just went out because he wanted to find Madison himself. But then Mothra arrived with this um with his um heaven um guy from heaven thing. Um, metaphor she was known as and she was friendly enough to guide the humans toward Godzilla because she knows he's still alive right so he's still alive and then they went down to marine to, to take um, nukes down to nukes down there they revived him but Satsuzawa actually sacrificed himself to save him so he sacrificed himself to save Godzilla by giving loads, by giving a, a great big nuke. So they nuked him. He came back. He came back. He rise out of the water. Came back to life, and he said that the humans say like, "Well, well, thank you. Well, thanks." So he went back. Then he went toward. Uh, Boston along with the humans to fight the door and Zora was very very um strong uses his fringe and but Godzilla got like um this um meltdown going on like King Godzilla versus the versus um the destroyer but this one he was in uh, like this double blown as a atomic bomb but he was um be assisted by Mothra, well, Mothra, and she was being attacked by, um, by Rodan, and she's able to, to, to knock him out, because, he, because he's an idiot, and then Godzilla, well, the door actually lifts Godzilla to up the, um, Guy and then he dropped him towards the ground, and and he was hurt very badly. So he was injured. So Martha climbed on top of him, um, guys, and she gave him some um energy to revive him, and she was actually sacrificed her life for him, getting blocked by by the door. So. The door does his um, energy blast, he blasts her and she just evaporates. Basically evaporates. And then um after that um Emma um sacrificed herself before that the humans old Mark um Mark Russell um Madison Russell and the other guys Went back to the helicopter, but Emma won't because she regretted what she'd done. So she tried to, to distract that, distract um, um, the door by using the orca. So she did that while Godzilla getting back on his feet. So I did that. Um, the door blasted it, the Hummer, and she said, Long live. The king, and then Gazo comes. He's burning Gazo form, and it was amazing. 
and then he just um use um his new ability to kill to kill the door so he um melted his wings and his three heads well one of his head got um was well, the gas of his mouth he just blasted out his mouth and yeah so that the story of Godzilla but but before that there was uh well I oh yeah there's something I forgot. Um uh, the man after he killed the door and Martin came and bowed to him and and he got the title as the King of the Monsters. So and guys um I just wanna say uh, sorry about the uh, background noises. I know it's uh, it was just me family, so sorry about that. Um and and once again that is the review of Godzilla King of the Monsters. So overall Godzilla King of the Monsters let me find out the movie. This film right here, this great film, is a a cool, cool, cool film, and I really enjoyed it. And if you haven't watched a Godzilla movie, I would highly recommend you watch this amazing film. You will love it. It's it's funny, it's action packed, and it's got full nostalgia to um to the um Toho movies and and it's a really 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 awesome film. So guys, this is the end of this um video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. The next episode, well the next movie I'm going to do is Godzilla Chain of the Monsters. And, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome. Bye.